In the middle of the 9th century, a young man named Mikhail III ascended the throne of the Byzantine Empire. This emperor was surrounded by many conspirators who wanted to kill him and remove him from the authority. Therefore, he needed someone he trusted as a counselor, so he didn't find anyone except Basileus, his best friend. The two had met in the stables of the kingdom where Basileus had saved Mikhail from death after a wild horse escaped from these stables. And as a reward for him, he promoted him from a horse tamer to the head of the stables. Then he began to bestow gifts and presents on him until he became a noble man. As the days passed, he became the king's advisor, advising him on all issues of the state. Then he became the commander of the state army, and therefore, Basileus' authority and funds increased. One night, Mikhail woke up from his sleep to find himself surrounded by soldiers and Basileus standing and watching while the soldiers stabbed Mikhail to death. After that, Basileus proclaimed himself as the new emperor of the Byzantine Empire. In another story, the Chinese history after the fall of the Han Dynasty in the year 222 was marching in violent and bloody upheavals. As army men conspired to kill any weak emperor and then appoint a powerful general instead of him. And to ensure his remaining in power, this general used to kill all the powerful generals. But after years, new generals emerge who would either assassinate him or his sons. In the year 959, General Song became the emperor of China, and to break this terrible routine, he invited the army commanders to a feast and persuaded them to retire from their posts in exchange for wealth and living the nobles' lives. So everyone agreed to his suggestion. Therefore, the flock of friendly wolves that could betray him at any moment were transformed into a group of obedient lambs. This enabled the Song dynasty to rule China for more than three centuries. Bit to remember, never put too much trust in friends and learn how to use enemies.